Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, I will show you how to lock external hard disks with password. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So I'll be showing you two ways on how to do this. So if you're using Windows 10 Pro, well, this one is actually pretty easy if you're using Pro. So if you're using Pro, go ahead and open up your Windows Explorer at the bottom left of your screen. And from here, you want to go ahead and go to your disk PC option. And from here, locate the drive that you want to basically add a password for. So in this case, just right click on that drive. And from here, you should be able to see an option that says BitLocker. So as you can see, I don't have that option because right now I am using Windows 10 Home. So if you're using Pro, that option will be available to you for if, if you actually select the BitLocker option, you will be able to set a password for that specific drive. But what if you are not using Windows 10 Pro? Well, I have an alternative for you to try. So first thing you want to do here is you want to install a third-party software. So that's going to be a Veracrypt. So go to veracrypt.fr and you want to go to the download page. And from here, just click on the download or the .exe installer. And from here, just go ahead and install this application. It's very easy. Just follow the steps on your screen and you should be able to install Veracrip. Now, once you've installed Veracrip, go ahead and open up Veracrip. And from here, I'll be showing you how to use this one. So first thing is we want to create our volume. So our volume is going to be the container wherein we want to store our files and basically add a password for that volume. So go ahead and click on create volume. And from here, just click on the create an encrypted file container, click on next, choose the standard Veracrypt volume, just click on next. And next is we want to select a file. So in this case, we want to create a file at our desktop and just basically name this as test volume. And make sure that you, that you add the dot hc and just click on save. Now from here, just click on next. And from here, you could retain the following details or settings here and just click on next. And from here, you want to assign the amount or space for that specific volume. So in this case, we want to add a 100 MB and just click on next. Now from here, we need to add our password. So go ahead, add your password. And from here, just click on next. Now it's going to give you a warning if your password is not very secure, but for now, let's just click on the yes option. Now from here, you need to move your mouse until the random pool or the randomness or movements is actually completed here. But once it completes, just click on format. And from here, it's going to say window fast startup is enabled and is known to cause issues when working with Veracrypt volumes. So it is advised to disable it for better security and usability. So you might want to disable this one, but for now, just so that uh, just to show you, we want to click on no, but I would suggest you to click on yes. Now from here, let's just wait for it to complete. But once it complete, just click on OK. And from here, just click on exit. Now we have our volume. So how do we actually use our volume? Now this volume is actually secured and you won't be able to access this one without actually open it up via Veracrypt. So in this case, we want to go ahead and select our file here. Just click on select file. Go to the location wherein the volume is located. And once you've located that volume, you could go ahead and just click on open. And from here, choose the drive volume. In this case, we want to choose A and just click on mount at the bottom left of your screen. Now from here, we want to input our password and just click on OK. And it's going to open up our volume or our file here. So go ahead and go to your file explorer. And as you can see, that specific volume is now open to us and we can now access the files within it. Now from here, if you want to lock your volume, you could go ahead and select that specific volume. And from here, just click on the dismount option. Now, once you've dismounted your volume here, it is now secured. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.